It's Nardwar, the human serviette at Summer Smash in Chicago, day two, waiting for a ski mask, the Slump God. Come on in. Yeah! Uh, <laughs> ski mask! Beyonce! Beyonce! Check, I like the fit. Check, check. You got the shit on. Just, just, so do you actually? What <laughs> is your I like fit? Shoes. I like the shoes. Oh, and the Air Maxes. You clean today. Well, what about yourself, though? Could you describe what you got going on? Um, you know, just a little orange. I'm feeling a little orange today. A little orange. A little orange. <laughs> I took a picture with like a, a orange. Like on my Kodak Black shit, I had an orange lighter. I don't know. I'm just feeling colorful today. And also, some of the actual watches. Yeah. Is that new? Yes. I talked to you last in 2018. A lot has happened a since then. But happened. the watch, I don't remember. No, definitely definitely got a lot of jewelry since then. A lot has happened since then. It's really good to see you, though, man. It's amazing. Thank you, Slipknot. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nightwatch. Who are you? Beyonce. You are Ski Mask? Ski Mask the Slump God. Slump God! Mm -hmm. At Lyrical Lemonade. Yes, we are. We're at Lyrical Lemonade, Summer Smash. We out here. <laughs> what the hell is going on here? Shh, it's hot. It's hot as fuck. <laughs> but you are very kind, Ski Mask. You are very kind. Thanks for the shout out. Of course, of course. You shouted me out. You're the fucking goat, bro. And Merlin Stop. Hell yeah. Oh yeah! You heard that song? Yes. Oh, that's goaded. You throw me out. You threw me out. <laughs> you threw me to the wolves. <laughs> no, you're goaded. Bro. How was I? How was I doing on that song? Like, what made you think of that song and me? Um. It was just a really, like, I'm really big on metaphors and stuff like that, so, and I wanted to shout you out in the song, so it was just a good time to bring you in, <laughs> to bring you up, yeah, yeah. And I was in the lyric video as well, I love that. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Not the actual video. Yeah, but the lyrical video, yeah. I'll definitely put you in a video anytime, bro, that would be amazing, that would be amazing. Oh, thank you so much, and I noticed that song, Merlin Staff. Merlin Staff, yeah, really good song. Produced by Kenny Beats, still some, yes, sir. what can you say about Kenny Beats? Kenny Beats is my brother. Shout out to Kenny Beats, Kenneth, Kenneth, uh, Sir Kenneth. And um, I haven't seen him in a long time, but hit me up, Kenny. Let's do something else for sure. And in that song, you sampled DJ Quick. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yo, you're... I love that. Like, old school. Like, I love the old school. Okay, okay. That's crazy that you know that. Yeah, yeah. We did. Well, it's amazing that you would throw out to Nardwar and then have a DJ. Quick. I love that. Like, of all the songs. Combination of it is crazy, yeah. That's fire, bro. That's fire that you know that. That's actually sick. You're a ski mask the slump god. We have to know. <laughs> we have to know. Uh, what about for your samples? Do you know every single song and every single sample? Nah, because I've sampled so many things like cartoons, animes, movies. I sample everything. Like, so it's really hard to know how many samples I actually have, for real. Do you know how many samples have been rejected? Did. Rejected? Yes. I've gotten rejected a lot of samples. <laughs> They've tried to charge me like a million dollars for one sample I tried to use before. What was that? A million bucks? Michael Jackson sample or some shit like that that I was... Did you expect to. that? <laughs> <laughs> no. I didn't think that was going to hit me over the fucking head with an M box, but I mean, it wasn't that serious. I could just drop it on SoundCloud really. Well, you could have had to go fund me. People would have paid. <laughs> People, you think so? Ski Mask Michael <laughs> Jackson sample. Ski Mask Michael Jackson sample. <laughs> That would have been amazing, honestly. When did you first find out about me? Like, for instance, like, you threw me out. Again, Nardwar and Merlin staff. I'm so honored. Yeah, yeah. But when What's did you, first? yeah. So I've been new about you since before I started making music. Me and X, actually, XXX used to watch your videos when we first started making music. And we always wanted to get an interview from you. So, yeah, man. Um, rest in peace to X. X would have loved to get an interview from you. We, we, we talked about you, like, plenty of times before. That's amazing, because actually, X did send me a DM, yeah. and he wanted to do an interview. He didn't want to get an interview from you. Bro. He never came to Vancouver, BC, and I really wanted to catch up with him, but unfortunately... It was it at didn't... the time, they wasn't letting him travel. Like, he didn't really get to do a lot of traveling, especially out the country. You know what I mean? Because X had a lot of um, legal things going on, but he loved you, though, definitely, for sure. Well, thanks actually for showing that to him, and thanks for watching even before even before me. What were you doing before music? What were you doing with X? Um, being badass children, not going to school, skip, skipping school, just being badass kids. Me and X was badass kids together, to be honest.
going way back, did you one time rap about horses? <laughs> yes. So my dad made me rap about, so that's funny. My dad used to force me to write raps when I was a kid instead of my homework. And I, I was right. I didn't know what to really write about because I was so young. Like, what am I supposed to be writing about? Pussy or shit? So I was writing about horses and like Polo and Ralph Lauren and funny stuff like that. Yeah. When was your first time in a pit? Do you remember that? Your first time in a pit. In a, pit, in a mosh pit. Um, my first show was a Rob Banks show in Miami. I think it was Dopey and T. Like, that's early Rolling Loud company. And it was for Rob Banks. Yeah. And that was my first pit. That was my first show. You watched? How about you watching a show? Did you ever? That was it. That was you you weren't performing? No, I wasn't performing. That was my first show ever seen. I wasn't even making music at that time, and I was watching Rob Banks perform, and I was like thinking in my head, like I could do this, <laughs> like for sure, I could do this. Yeah. Was it kind of rough? Or how would I how would I stand in that pit? Yeah, it was a rough pit. Rob Banks is a mosh pit, like uh, for sure, mosh pit artist. So crazy pits, crazy pits. Now, you were on tour recently with the Suicide Boys. Yeah. That's my boys. That's my brothers. What are their pits like? What were the pits like for them? Insane, bro. And it's so many people. Like, um, we went on tour in America and Europe, and they're, they're, there's so many people, and their their pits are just insane. Like, I've ever, never seen, like, a circle mosh pit. Like, people running in a circle and just going crazy. Shout out to Suicide Boys. Those are my brothers for sure. And I've seen pictures of you diving off stage. Well, do that shit today. I'm diving off the stage today. You know, when you dive off the stage, how do you do it? Like, what are the tips for diving off the stage? You do you it. need a crowd? No, so you really got to just do an eye measurement of the crowd and the stage distance. And I just need to see if, if it's actually possible. Because usually I do a front flip off the, front, off the stage into the crowd and they catch me. But if it's too far, then I am fucked. So, yeah. No, sometimes you dive. Like, you yeah, swim, the dive. dive like, and sometimes on your back. But on your yeah. back is kind of dangerous, if the, isn't it? Or I mean, I've been through a lot jumping in the crowds. They snatched my do-rag off. They pulled, they grabbed my ass. Like I've been through a lot, on it, so I'm used to it, really. What happens when they do that stuff? Do you react? Or? No, I mean, there's nothing I can really do. It's like so many people, so I just tell my security to grab me back and bring me back to the stage, really. Going way back, way, way, way back. Way back. What was going on what in this big... fuck? From nah! Daily Dose of Stokely. That's crazy. This is a baby picture of me in New York when I used to live in New York. I used to live in Canarsie, in Brooklyn, and my mom was taking me to karate. Damn. What the fuck? Look at the little karate fit. Look at the little punch. You see that? What do you remember? How long were you in karate? Um, for some years. For some years. I think I got to like a blue belt or maybe higher. Maybe higher as a kid, yeah. But it was always fun. I remember this time. That's crazy as fuck. Daily Dose of Stokely. Yeah, do I get to keep this? Yes, for sure. Fire, fire, thank they you. They post a lot of pictures of you, amazing yeah. pictures. Oh, yeah. Where do they find them? It's amazing. They're really one of the people that just do the same type of thing. You do. Not the same type, but they are really good with investigating and finding things, you know what I mean? Old stuff, so shout out to Daily Dose. Atlanta, what? Hattie Marie's. Hattie Marie's. Barbecue. Yes, I just, see, I just moved from Atlanta. And I always used to go to Hattie Marie's for barbecues. <laughs> How do you know that, though? I used to eat the fuck out of Hattie Marie's at, um, in Atlanta. I just moved back to Florida, though, so. Well, you are ski mask the slump god. We got to know. We got to know. <laughs> Actually, I have a gift for you right here. Some Lay's fish chips. Really? Check that out. What the fuck? I've never seen this. Lay's. What do you think? Fish flavored. This shit got a... Again, you got a, like a crab or a lobster claw on it. I, I know this is going to be so good. What the fuck? I've never seen this. It's, sh it's not. Oh, oh thank you. What the fuck? He actually got me a gift. Maybe eat that. Don't buy me gifts no more, you know? It's like, <laughs> I'm the gift buyer. But you love the seafood, don't you? Yeah, is this yeah. something you would have? Hell yeah, for sure. Definitely. I, I, I'm surprised I haven't seen this because I'm usually on all the foreign snacks. So I'm surprised, actually. Fish flavored. I yes, love that. Flavor. Yeah, I know. We're not going to stop there, actually. You know, for your pre-meal, I have a gummy hamburger for you. What is this? What the fuck is this? It's a gummy hamburger. Bro, this is a Open it up. hamburger made of gummies. No, nah, that's so gas, fam. Thank you so much for that. And you don't feel guilty eating it? Hell no. I'm about to eat the hell out. I've been working my ass. I've been working out, like, 
like for sh- for months. So that's opposite of working out, isn't it? Hey, I deserve it. I, I deserve it. I've been working out like crazy. Thank you so much, bro. Oh yeah, sure, no problem. A lot to me, man. In this song, sheet. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What is that? In the song, sheet talk. Shit talk. You sample sponge. SpongeBob. And I, <laughs> and I have some SpongeBob for you right here. We have some SpongeBob candies oh, for you. Hard as fuck, the crusty patty, <laughs> the crabby patty. Nah, this is hard as fuck. Thank you so much. What is this? The black burger? No, this is fire as fuck too. What the fuck? The crusty crew. The crusty crew. Like when you sampled SpongeBob, did you imagine getting SpongeBob gummies and food? Hell no, no, I don't. I watched SpongeBob a lot in my life, like as a kid too. So I grew up on SpongeBob a lot too. So I always loved. It's kind of got more popular because I don't think that was when you were a kid. I've never seen either one of these actually ever. Ever so, these you like strange. gummies type stuff. I love gummies. I but love you gummies. said you're working out, yeah. But hey, my trainer's not watching this, so fuck it. I'm gonna eat all this today. <laughs> How do you know when to stop having a trainer? Um, see, I'm, I'm starting to feel like I should because I'm getting too skinny. I don't like being too skinny. I don't know. I like having some weight on me, so it depends. It really depends. You also associate with DJ Scheme lots. Yes, hell yeah. That's my brother, for sure. He's the master of, like, leaking snippets, isn't he? (laughs) That's hilarious. I'm going to tell him that. Yes, he is. Master of leaking songs. Yeah, for sure. Is there any tips for that? For leaking, you know, for getting people excited? He has a close connect with me, so I always send him songs to um, see what he thinks about him early, and then he just ends up putting it on his fucking story or something like that. So, yeah, that's funny that you've noticed that. That's hilarious. And I have another gift for you, Ski Mask. This is by Ethan Deploy. Anybody's ever given me in one day. It's crazy. And this is a comic book all about... That's so hard. Oh, have you seen this before? No, I, I think I have seen a picture of it, but I didn't. I didn't, never thought I would see it in person. This is the whole video in comic book form. No, nah, this is hard as fuck. Yeah, what can you say about this video? Man, shout out to Juice World, my brother. Rest in peace to Juice. This was a really good video. I remember this day specifically because not only did Juice pass away, my other boy in the video that I put in the video that's from Florida passed away. Rest in peace to him. This video means a lot to me, man. Thank you so much for this. Oh, sure. No problem. And thank you for creating all the great music. That's thank amazing. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank you so much, man. I love the fit. Come out to the set, please. You have to come see the set. You recorded Freddy versus Jason. Was it an ex's grandmother's house? How did that work out? That's crazy that you know that. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, so we recorded it at ex-grandma's house that used to take care of him, like, before anything. Um, and it was on, like, a snowball mic like one of the worst mics you could really buy. And it was in a closet and it was really like bad quality, but we used to work off the bad quality and like the distortion of music. That's what we used to use it to our favor. So yeah, man, that's crazy that you know that. Me and X, me and, me and X old times, yeah. Tied a barber. Tied a barber? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> How do you know these people, bro? That's, nah, that's crazy, bro, that's scary. I'm not gonna lie. How do you know him, huh? How do you know him? That's the barber, <laughs> Chino. Chino? How do you know Chino? Nah, bro. Who's giving him this information? Somebody's giving you, somebody has to be telling you. There's no way you know Chino and Ty. What the fuck? <laughs> well, you are a ski mask. You are a ski mask of slump god. We have to know. God damn. What can you say about ski mask and barbers? Um, eh, sometimes, because... Only certain barbers get to see what's under this do rags. <laughs> only certain ones. Yeah. And Leaky Lee. Leaky Lee. I fucking love Leaky Lee. What do you mean? And I've been listening to Leaky Lee's from so early on in my career. Like, that's crazy that you know that. Damn, you know some shit, man. That shit's crazy. You know some shit. Uh, well, you are a ski mask? We gotta know. The slump god. We gotta know. Anything else to add to the people out there? Ski mask, the slump god. I mean, what else can I say to the fucking people? We are out here. Summer smash. Um, it's your boy Beyonce. It's the fucking goat Nardwar. Is there really anything else to say? I'm bringing him out on stage for sure. It has to happen. <laughs> Why 
should people care about ski mask the slump god i mean i'm such a humble dude i'm just a good person in general you know what i mean um i make good music maybe it's not for everybody but it's for the certain people and i'm just humble man so fuck with me man just come come figure it out yeah come figure it out well thanks very much ski mask Thank keep you, on man Thank you. Keep on rocking in a free world and do, 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 yeah. Love you, man. See you later. Oh, let me get this. Bye. <laughs>